Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Zina in Islam. In Islam, Zina denotes unlawful sexual intercourse, encompassing both premarital and extramarital relations, considered a major sin and prohibited in Islamic teachings. Key points include Forbidden Act. Zina is explicitly forbidden in the Quran. In Surah Al-Isra, 1732, Allah says, And do not approach unlawful sexual intercourse. Indeed, it is ever an immorality and is evil as a way. This verse emphasizes the importance of avoiding any actions that lead to zina, punishments. Islamic jurisprudence prescribes severe punishments, especially for married individuals known as had, potentially involving flogging or stoning. Application varies among Islamic countries and schools of thought. Repentance. Islam also emphasizes the importance of repentance. If a person has committed zina and sincerely repents, seeking forgiveness from Allah, they may be forgiven. Repentance in Islam includes feeling genuine remorse, making a commitment not to repeat the sin and seeking Allah's forgiveness, modesty and chastity. Islamic teachings stress modesty, encouraging both genders to lower their gaze and dress modestly to avoid temptation. Modesty is a virtue in Islam. Marriage, encouraging marriage to fulfill sexual desires lawfully. Islam permits relations within a lawful marriage, seen as a way to attain closeness to Allah. It's important to note that interpretations and practices related to zina can vary among different cultures, Islamic traditions, and individuals. Additionally, the application of zina-related punishments can be a subject of debate and controversy within the Muslim world. Some Muslim-majority countries may not implement the had punishments, while others may enforce them to varying degrees.